Daddy had just gotten back from his third tour in Vietnam. I was five. We were out shopping at the commissary on base, so there's lots of air traffic. We're walking to the station wagon, and a plane overhead breaks a sound barrier. Boom! Being near the airfields, my mom and I are used to it. We jump and laugh, but this is Daddy's second day back from the war. We were going to have a barbecue. He was carrying a bag of groceries, fixings for hot dogs and hamburgers, while my dad hears the boom, tosses the bag to the ground, and dives across the parking lot under a truck. Everything in the bag splatters everywhere. My dad is laying belly down on the ground, shielding his head with his arms. My mom starts rocking him back and forth like a baby. I just remember standing in the parking lot looking at this, other soldiers coming out, passing by while all of this was going on. The thing I remember the most is that I was the only one surprised. It gave me nightmares. I knew the world had monsters. I knew it spooked my father, at least. And if it could scare him, it must be pretty awful. I drew pictures of what this boogeyman might look like. Long-nosed demons, wolf men with blood on their teeth, creatures with fire and smoke circling around them. And then one day I found a picture in the trash can from when my dad was in Vietnam. His first sergeant sent it to him. It was a soldier, his buddy, wearing a necklace made out of ears. I don't have to draw pictures anymore. I know what the boogeyman looks like.